How's it going? Today we're going to look at a concept I'm calling chord shapes, and it's really just learning um, different ways of getting to the chords. So here's uh, the, the gist of what we're getting into. So let's say, for example, we're in the key of C, and we'll use the key of C as an example throughout this. And we have a three chord song that's got C, F, and G. The one, four, and five, let's be real common. C chord on the fifth fret, and then you go to the F chord on the tenth fret, and the G chord on the twelfth fret, or maybe open. So after a while, you've got these three chords, and you go, okay, I can navigate the chord progression. that's fine and there's nothing wrong with that and we're going to do that a fair amount of the time but after a while you kind of feel stuck doing the same thing over and over again you're like gee every single time I'm just going to the fret where the chord is and playing so what I like to be able to do is navigate the chord progression I'm in the key of C I want to stay close to the fifth fret where uh, my C chord is and play the notes of the F chord and the G chord near the fifth fret. So fortunately I wrote these down for you so you can check them out. So of course the C chord here on the fifth fret is just on the fifth fret, all the strings. The F chord, I'm going to play this pattern like five, six, seven, five, six, seven. So it's this kind of slanted pattern. And those are the same notes as an F chord. And then for the G chord, I'll play four, three, five, four, three, five. There are different ways to go about finding these notes, but these are common patterns that I like to remember. Four, three, five, four, three, five. Those are the notes of the G chord. So now, instead of playing. I can play. And I've stayed kind of close to home here, and I'm kind of thinking in terms of being in the key of C, but I navigated the progressions. So this is step one. Over the long term, we're going to learn how to use these concepts to improvise and use them to play melodies, landing notes, passing notes, the works. This is really good information. But this part one, all we're trying to do is navigate a chord progression without moving the bar to the... Uh, respective frets for the chord. So I'm going to try to play one, four, five, but I'm going to stay close to the fifth fret. Now it's important to know a couple things. One is that when we're doing these things, I have to be able to block. I have to be able to play single notes. If you can't just get one note to play clean, then your notes that are on different frets, then you end up with doesn't sound like much, so you have to get one note at a time to play out. It's very important. Now the other thing is that all of these notes, C chord, F chord, G chord, are all in the C major scale. So as we go through this, I want you to go back and review. If you haven't done it, then just start it. Um, I have a lesson called movable major scales and it shows you a C major scale there's two positions one that's called ahead of the bar one that's called behind the bar and if you look at that and you're doing the exercises for this video you'll realize fairly quickly that all the notes from this exercise are in the C major scale so it's one of the nice things as we go forward is that we're not leaving the C major scale to play a C chord, F chord, G chord. We're doing that all within the context of the C major scale. Very nice. So I played it a very specific way and wrote it out for you in exercise form. 
I don't remember what I wrote, but I did perform it there, and you can check that out if you want, and that's a real good way to get started. But in the long run, what you want to do with these, you start to internalize these shapes. And you want to be able to kind of improvise over these chords. So you can take the play along track here, which is what I'm about to do, and improvise over one, four, five, just using the notes of the chords. So we're still just, we're playing the chords one note at a time over the chord progression. So this is how you start improvising over these changes. Okay. So I'm going to give it a shot here and see what happens. I hope I remember how to do it. Here we go. So that was just whatever came to mind. And as you get comfortable navigating these changes, it will start to turn into melodies and musical ideas that you can use in a lot of different ways. But first, we just want to navigate the chord progression, and then I'm going to make part two where we start to turn those things into melodies. So right now, you just want to kind of really internalize where these chords live and so that you can go to play when you're playing a song you say we're in the key of c and i go c <clears throat> fifth fret is kind of my home now i can i can get to the f chord and the and the g chord without leaving home i get to stay home and uh, it's a really nice option this is not you're not always supposed to do this i would play in the real context i would i would sometimes i would move the bar to the chords here 10th fret 12th fret sometimes i would stay home but it just gives you more options to keep you um, from doing the same thing. So here's another little example. I'm going to mix and match. Hopefully this makes sense and it should get you starting to get out of that rut of always going to where the major chord is and um, start to be able to play in the home position, whatever that means. I might start calling it that. All right. Hope you enjoy this and we're going to keep going with part two very soon and we'll see you guys real soon.